Magaline. We are here. I'm not necessarily running late today, but I should have left earlier, you know what I mean? Like, I like to try to leave around six <clears throat> because you never know what could happen in the morning. And I just prefer to be earlier than late. freaking gas like just came on. Great. 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 It sure is a time, isn't it, huh? <laughs> sure is a time. Um, okay, so yesterday the vlog was super short. I just wasn't feeling well. I was feeling super like weird. Like, um, how do I explain that? Like, I was dizzy all day, like off and on all day, like sick to my stomach. Um, I didn't like throw up or anything, I was just like sick. Like, my stomach felt weird all day, and that, and the dizzy, and so I just wasn't feeling my best yesterday. So, I decided that I was gonna prioritize resting. And so by the time I remembered, oh my god, I have to do a vlogmas, vlogaween, vlogaween, damn. By the time I remembered I had to do a vlogaween, it was like I was already in bed. Like I was already like in bed for the night and I just kind of sat up and was like, ugh. So that is the reason for the super short vlog that has not even gone up yet. You'd think that because it was so short, I would just like quickly be able to put it up, but that was not the case. I literally rolled over and went back to, to, you know, I wasn't asleep, but I, like, I, you know, I went back to bed, you know? <gasps> oh, goodness gracious. So here we are. Day 10. I'm on my way to work. Um, I work today and I work tomorrow. I do not work on Wednesday. I work on Thursday. I do not work on Friday. Um, I work on Saturday. I might do a double on Saturday. That's not been determined. It's a little hot in here, so I'm just gonna let my help my myself have a little bit of air. See how long this light takes today. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna stop for gas before or after work. It's kind of dangerous to not, but like I'm kind of running out of time. Oh my god, I wish I had my thing on for that. That guy just ran a red light. What a douche canoe. <laughs> what a douche canoe. Wow, that's incredible. You're a jackass. Anyways, um, he like, he stopped and then ran it anyway. That's what was crazy about that. It's like, it's not like a matter of like, oh, I was already going. This man or woman or whomever stopped, came to a full complete stop and then ran the red light anyway. I'm sorry, what? Anyways. So my plan for this evening is as follows. I am going to crawl into bed and be done for the day. Just as soon as I get home, y'all. Just as soon as I get home. I'm like, I'm so tired. And it's like, I'm sleeping. But like, I'm still tired. I don't know what's going on. Anyways. We finally get out.
I'd rather not make chili. I don't feel like chili tonight. It's not even cold out. I mean, not that that's ever like stopped me from making chili. I want to make that clear. I don't make, I don't not make chili for um, heat versus cold reasons. <laughs> um, I just don't feel like it. If I don't feel like it, I don't make it. And I don't feel like it. So I wonder if this is a trauma going to my hospital. I mean, there's another hospital on the way to my hospital, which makes no sense, but. It's literally like a mile down the road, if that. So I could be going to the other hospital. I wish this person would figure their life out. Like, what are you gonna do, buddy? You gonna like you switching lanes? Like, what's going on, buddy? He can't see shit because he had to defrost his windows too. And I've got to stop because I've got a yellow light. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, <clears throat> let's see. Can we open something in this time that we have together? Nope. The light's getting ready to turn green. Yep, light. All right, I am gonna do a quick time check, see where I am time-wise, and determine whether or not I have time to get gas. So I'm gonna do that right now. And we got gas. Oh, so now I'm running a little bit later than I would like to for work. Um, I wanted to have that time for us to open my stuff. It is what it is, what it is, what it is. It is what it is. Anyways. Beforehand, I was on the yellow to red light lane. You know what I mean? Like when, when you're, you're just freaking getting all the yellow lights. I am no longer getting those lights. <clears throat> so stopping seemed to have helped. Two people need to get on I-95 and they freaking get in the lane next to I-95 and then hold me up because the people are going slower. It's like, ah, uh, you know, it's fine. Um, I got gas. That's good. Now we are on our way to work. I don't know what the time looks like. I think, I think when I left the gas station, I had 10 minutes to get to work, which is sufficient, but it is not sufficient enough to open stuff. And I don't want to feel rushed because I have an extra thing to open today because it is Monday. And a Bud Light truck just cut us all off. Cool, 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 cool. Love that, love that, love that. Okay. Oh, he's getting out of my lane. Great, 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 great. So, can you freaking, can you, what are you doing, bud? Literally, what are you doing, bud? Bud Light, what are you doing? for getting in my lane. Yeah. We appreciate it. You're a real freaking peach. Bro, how dare you cut me off and then go slower? And you were upset when the Bud Light truck cut you off and went slower. And now you won't cut me off and go slower. You're a real peach. These people, I'm telling you. You ever want to get angry at strangers? I'm driving Florida, man. I'm telling you, it's driving in Florida is not for the faint of heart. That's all I'm gonna say. Anyways, we are. I wonder if is anybody doing pumpkins right now, or are they not gonna last for Halloween? I'm trying to determine when the best time to do pumpkins is, because I want to do pumpkins. I want to do at least. I want to carve a pumpkin. Um. But I need to know when is the best time, in theory, to do it. Um, I know a trick that if, like, you dip the pumpkin in bleach, it will last longer. And that's all good and dandy. But, like, I don't want to be playing with bleach if I don't have to. You know what I'm saying? Nice brake slamming. And it's a green light. It's like... You ever just want to punch somebody? These people want to get punched, bro. I'm telling you. Anyway, I digress. I'm trying to determine the best time for pumpkins. We know what he wants to be. Um, we, I wanted to be uh, Cleopatra and Antony, but he's not down. Well, he doesn't care. But, like, the fact that he doesn't have an opinion about it bothers me a little. Like, I want him to be like, yeah, let's be a couple or whatever. 
so kind of makes me a little mad that Anthony doesn't want to be Anthony. So we're having that disagreement right now. He doesn't really care for Halloween. So it's kind of like, it's kind of a thing where like I'm trying to force him to have an opinion about something that he doesn't care about. But I feel like even if it's something you don't care about, you have an opinion. Like you can be sitting there talking to your like your friend and you find out that your ex best friend or your ex boyfriend or whatever is doing something and you can simultaneously not care about the person and not care about what's happening and still have an opinion about it. In my opinion. I mean, I know that's kind of an extreme example compared to like Halloween costumes, but like you cannot care about things and have opinions about them anyway right am i wrong like i mean to to not care is to not care right but you can still like you you can like you know give a little side eye you know be like i'm like to to not like he truly just does not have an opinion because he does not care and it makes no sense to me i have so many opinions all the time and so does he anyways i digress i digress i digress that's that's not the point that's not the point i don't know we are we are trying to do Halloween costumes coupley, but he doesn't have an opinion. And my son will be uh, Link from Legend of Zelda. I wanted to do family costumes last year. Anna Anna was Wednesday. I was Morticia. Um, my son could have been Pugsley, of course, who wants to be a little fat guy. And um, it would have been so perfect because um, Morticia is pale and white and um, Gomez is Hispanic and and Anthony is, he's, he's Spanish. So it's like, it would have been nice, but he has to ruin all my fun. Anyways, uh, let's see what time it is and we'll see if we have time to do some openings. Okay, I decided to throw my hair up. I'm 100% um, aware that it looks like shit, but it is what it is. Day 10 stitchy box, here we go. Just checking to make sure that I am over Day 10's little gift is, oops, I tore right through the bag. Day 10's gift is, ooh, I like this. This is um, Pumpkin Pixie. That's quite beautiful. And I'm showing up true to camera, so no need to pause. It says, flower silk thread. You never know where you might find a little pumpkin pixie for ready for some Halloween fun. I love this colorway. I love this. Okay. Okay, next up we have 31 Days of Haunted America. Day 10. I did reach out to Fango Fibers. Uh, these next three boxes are from Fangirl Fibers. I did reach out and ask for what would have been the spooky story. Okay, here we go. This is a, I think like you get to design your own like bookmark thing. So that's pretty cool. Clown Motel, Tonopah, Nevada. The Clown Motel is a clown themed motel along North Main Street in Tonopah, Nevada, US which is referred to as America's Scariest Motel. The building is located adjacent to the Tonopah Cemetery where the father of the original owners is buried. The 31-room Clown Motel was opened in 1985 by Leroy and Leona David in honor of their late father, Clarence David, whose, collect whose collection of over 150 clown statues was used to decorate the property. In 1995, Bob Perchetti bought the motel and operated it for 22 years until 2017 when he put the property up for sale for $900,000. Two years later, the property was purchased by Vijay Mahir, who appointed his former art decorator, family friend, Haim Anad, as CEO, who gave, the new f who gave a new facelift to the motel, increased the collection from 600 clown statues to over 2,000 pieces of clown memorabilia. Ugh. No, thank you. Anyways, this is cute. Little owl bookmark that you can design yourself. Fun stuff. I like this. I like day 10 Disney villains. Also by Stitchy Box. If uh, the story from yesterday um, does get sent to me, I will read it when I get it. Okay. And here we go. Shere Khan from the Jungle Book. I love it. This is, <laughs> this is so beautiful. It is like warm, 
rusty colors, variegated. Oh my God, this is incredible. Look at the ends. Oh, good representation. Good, good, good representation of the villain. I love this. I love today. Today is going really good. Okay, I'm pleased. I'm impressed. I'm happy. Okay, finally. This is October 10th for the Cryptids five week box. So just a little recap every Monday, basically. So it was the third, the 10th, the 17th, the 24th, and the 31st. I will open up one of these. So I open it up five times instead of 31. So let's begin. Okay, what do we have today? Oh, look at this. It's a chupacabra. I love it. Okay. Oh my God. I'm so happy. Okay. The chupacabra. The chupacabra, literally goat sucker from Spanish chuper to suck and cabra goats, is a legendary creature in the folklore of parts of America with its first purported sightings uh, reported in Puerto Rico in 1995. The name comes from the animal's reported vampirism. The chupacabra is said to attack and drink the blood of livestock, including goats. Physical descriptions of the creature vary. Some describe it as reptilian and alien-like in Puerto Rico and Latin America. Generally, as, a, as a, a heavy creature the size of a small bear with a row of spines reaching from the neck to the base of the tail, others depict it as more dog-like, particularly in southwestern United States. Ugly little thing, huh? Okay, so we've got variegated thread. Look at it. I love it. <laughs> I love it so much. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay. We also got uh, thread drops with a uh, big foot on him. Let me open this. Oh, hold on. We also got a piece of fabric for the chupacabra. Now I'm wondering if this is a bad idea with how, well, it'll make him, I guess, so blend in. I don't know that I like that. I may have to put him on purple also. And this is a T-Rex, the thesaurus T, and this is the Jersey Devil. So this one is inspired by Chupacabra. Whether or not you believe in a curse to be winged goat man or not, this tea is bringing the heat with piquant ginger and fiery chili to bring out the inner demon that hides within earthy genomacha? I don't know, I don't understand. I don't, I don't know what tea, like I don't drink tea. I'm not a tea drinker, so. Anyways, this is fun because we've got a gold floss drop ring. We've got one, two, three green ones. And these are the ones that I like. And we've got three like tan ones. And we've got three Bigfoot ones. How freaking fun is this? I love it. So I'm gonna just go ahead and throw all the floss droppies on here. I just feel like this needs a different color. I feel like this needs a different color. I'm not, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that thing where you throw it in black and white and see if it stands out. Because the, the, the picture, the pattern, this is a pattern by Bendy Stitchy. Um, he is the he's the absence of the colorway right so dmc 415 and 8 4 8 what's this one 415 yeah we need a different yeah i'm gonna have to see what i can storm linen don't i have a storm linen from the other one or is that stormy night i don't I think this just needs a different color because, I mean, it's beautiful. This linen is, or this, this Ada is beautiful and so is this colorway, but I think that's too close. Let me know in the comments down below. I haven't finished Mothman yet, so I'm not starting this one today. So let me know in the comments down below. Thoughts? Okay. I'm going to wrap this up. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, thank you for being a part of this month with me. I am cleaning up my mess so that I don't uh, leave a mess. And I'm gonna, I will catch you tomorrow, day 11. I will see you there. Thank you so much for watching this video.
If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you like me or like to see more from me, please hit subscribe. I'd be so happy to have you. All right, I hope that you are being safe. Wash your hands, take care of yourselves. Bye, y'all.